suck y'all on this Saturday evening, honey. How y'all doing tonight? Well, honey, you are on the Eyes Married Now show, in case you ain't know, okay? And mama want to talk about a few things here today. Honey, it was nice outside today, okay? I hope y'all got out there and enjoyed some of that. Mm, 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 yes. All right, well, I got on my reading glasses. I ain't switching it up. It's late. I ain't trying to get with that. But I didn't show y'all. Just put it right here in this chair. And then close that right there. Sorry about that. I didn't show y'all my polish of the day. So if you didn't see my first video today, then you did. You don't know that the color was bronze with a tinge of brown. Okay, so yeah, mama was rocking. It's brown, but it kind of looked bronzy. So that's what I'm rocking today, y'all. Okay, mama ain't get to show y'all that. Actually, I didn't even have my nails done when I did my first video. Um, I was in the car at the car wash, and I actually did my nails in the car today, so. When I did that first video, I hadn't done them yet. So I'm rocking a little bronzy, little side swoop whoop going on here on the side here, y'all. Mm-hmm. Little side ponytail with the little curly whoop whoop. All right, y'all. So, honey, I I'm telling you. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I was out all day. But I had fun, though, y'all. It was so nice out today. Mm. It truly was. Oop, I'm missing earrings, honey. Mm. It's getting late. I took them off, but I got I was rocking some brown earrings today. But yeah, back to the some of the questions y'all had. I found some more of y'all questions, and I wanted to answer some of them. Okay, so somebody wanted to know when did I get my tattoos. Now I did my. Somebody wanted to know what my tattoos were, and I showed y'all all my tattoos. But I have um six of them. One, two. Three, four, five, which is the one back here on my neck. Okay, this says Scorpio. And I have one on my left side calf. So I have six tattoos. Um, and they wanted to know when did I get them? When I got my tattoos and how many I had. Alright, so I got my first tattoo in 2000. I think it was 2006 when I got my very first tattoo and it just went from there. I don't know exactly, you know, every year that I've gotten a tattoo, but I know for sure I got my very first tattoo in about 2006, if I'm not mistaken. And I got my Scorpio tattoo in 2008. Yeah. But I don't remember exactly what years and stuff that I got the other ones. So, hopefully I answered y'all questions. And, oh, somebody also wanted to know, was it hard looking after my doggies? No, actually, it's not. Um, I have helped my husband. You know, he, he helps out. Um, we all kind of collectively help out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes my kids will feed them, put their, you know, fill up their little uh, food and water tray. Sometimes my husband will do it. Sometimes I'll do it. Sometimes he'll let, them, let the dogs out. Some, you know, we just kind of collectively do it. Um, but it's not hard to take care of a dog, in my opinion. But, um, nope, so it's not hard, at least not for me. Okay, so, somebody wanted to know what products do I use on my hair, okay? Honey, I use Eco Style Gel. Matter of fact, let me show y'all. I use this, like, I've been using this for years, okay? Um... I never was a dark gel girl, okay? I've been wearing ponytails and stuff, yes. I've never been the wear your hair out type girl. Always got your hair out curled straight and all of that. I always wore my hair in ponytails. Um, so if I was, if I got a perm, I've had perms before. I wasn't the type of person that every six weeks I was on top of it getting my touch up, getting my touch up. I would get a perm and then months would go by and I'd be back to my ponytails and curly whirl and all of that, so... I've always pretty much been a natural hair girl. And this is the gel that I've been using for eons, okay? I buy it by the buckets, actually. I buy a big jug like this, and I transfer it into the small one. So that's me, all day long, eco-style gel. Okay, now... 
Somebody wanted to know how do I manage to keep my composure in spite of all the drama on YouTube, even when they come for me. Well, I don't know. I just kind of knew what I was getting into when I got on YouTube because, you know, I used to watch YouTube before I actually got on it. So I already knew really what to expect. Um, and then on top of that, my personality. Um, I've never been a person to just always just blow up at people. First of all, okay, it's a lot of jealousy on YouTube. It's a lot of jealousy in the world, period. But it's definitely a lot of jealousy on YouTube. So a lot of the drama and the backlash that you get, it comes from people being jealous. Um, and I've dealt with that like a lot in my life, even before YouTube. Okay, so I don't know if I'm kind of used to it, so I just kind of ignore it. Um, but, um, yeah, I pretty much like the, you know, killing with kindness, for real. Although I did get upset one time when um, somebody that threw shade on me had the nerve to subscribe to my channel. Now, that did kind of hit a nerve, because I ain't never had nobody throw shade and then going to be a subscriber. Okay, so yeah, that touched the nerve, okay? I felt like, you know, if you feel the way that you feel about me based off of your comment, why do you want to get me straight in your email inbox, right in your channel feed? Okay, so yeah, I find feeling that, and that touched the nerve. But other than that, honey, you stay on your side, and you do your channel, and you talk about mom, and do videos, and do whatever you do, honey. I don't care. You can come on my channel and leave a comment throwing the shade. I've had it done. But I don't know. Um, I guess I'm just used to it. Even before YouTube, I'm just used to people uh, just not liking me just because. And I'm sure it's other women out here who have experienced that. People just because, well, why you don't like me? <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're not going to have everybody that like you. But some people just don't like you just because they're jealous. And I've experienced that a lot in my life, so. It is what it is, honey, okay? You ain't got to like mama, okay? All right? You ain't got to like me, mama. <laughs> honey, I'm going to need you to celebrate and participate, honey, okay? Don't hate, celebrate, participate, and appreciate. I was married now, okay? All right. <laughs> you just laugh at them clowns for real. I mean, that's really what it is. You laugh at them. You kill them with kindness, honey. You keep doing what you did. And they will get over it, honey. Yes, they will. All right, so um, somebody wanted to know what was my favorite restaurant. That would be Red Lobster. I love Red Lobster. I mean, I just do. I love their shrimp scampi. And then when I'm finished with the shrimp scampi, it has this, like, scampi sauce that's left. And I take my lobster and I just dip that in there, honey. Oh, my gosh, honey. Red Lobster, that's my favorite. And it wants to know what are my favorite foods. I love pizza. I love Chinese food. Um, of course, um, I mean, I love pizza and Chinese food. Those are really my favorites, for real. And, honey, actually, one of my favorites I just had tonight, honey, a cheesesteak egg roll, okay? I ain't talking about no shrimp egg roll and veg vegetable egg roll, honey. I'm talking about a cheesesteak egg roll, okay? Right. All right. So, yeah. Now, it says, um, what are your pet peeves? Oh, well, honey, let me tell you. I do not like pubic hairs on my toilet seat, okay? I hate going to use the bathroom, honey, and see a pubic hair, okay? I don't like that, honey. That's it. That irritates me. Yes, it did. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, um, another pet peeve that I have, I don't like, I have a habit after I use the bathroom and wash my hands, you know how the water get up on the sink. I have a habit of wiping that water off when I go, because nine times out of ten I have kids, so it's always some kind of water and stuff and that kind of, you know, so I wipes it up, um, because I just like to take and wipe up the water that's there that just you know maybe that's part of my OCD I don't know but uh, OCD aka obsessive compulsive disorder okay all right so 
Yeah, I don't like pubic hairs on the toilet seat, honey. And I don't like that water all over the sink. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that. Uh, let's see. What else they want to know? Why did you start YouTube? Um, I started YouTube because I used to watch YouTube. And I don't mean no harm. I was inspired by watching you ladies do what you do. Um, I just thought, wow, they come on here and they can talk and do their makeup and just do all kinds of stuff. And then it was sort of like reality. And um, I was like, dang, I wonder if I could do that. You know, I wonder if I could actually get on YouTube and not be shy. And believe it or not, I was wondering if I would be shy. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I was inspired from watching you guys. And I said, oh, I want to get on YouTube. You know, I think I, I can, you know, yeah, mama thinks she can do, do the thing. Okay, so yeah, that's why I got on YouTube, honey. I was inspired by y'all, and I, and I wanted to do it too. So, uh, let's see. What do you like about being married? Well, honey, well, let me tell you. I like the companionship, okay? Um, I'm a wife material type of girl. Okay, that's just me. I'm not no, you know, we're going to date for, 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 for five, ten years, and, you know, we just going to shack up. That, I'm, a, I'm a wife material type girl. And, you know, I, I just think that the, um, my opinion, and in, in as far as what I like and what I want, I think the moral thing in my mind is, you know, husband, wife, children, family. Okay, um... Now, it hasn't always been that way because I, I've been a single mother before. But I would prefer the family unit of husband, wife, and children. Um, I like the fact of um, having that male figure around, um, that male presence around, um, companionship. You know, I don't like to be alone, okay? Um, I don't know. Some people are fine with being alone and hanging out alone and going to the movies alone and going out to dinner alone. Well, that's not me. I'm, I'm not a, a loner in that sense. Um, yeah, I, I just,